Hi, you're watching Professor Plays. This is my factorial tutorial series built from scratch. This is the uh, wall supply train and I want to add uh, laser turrets to the supply. So I want to request some laser turrets. Or any, anything else I want to add. Uh, laser turrets. I have electric poles. What else am I using when I put laser turrets? Just that, I think. Just, just laser turrets. Oh, I need to put. Uh, I need to reserve laser turrets in here. There, otherwise, there's no room to put them. And I need to cap that chest like that. Now there's laser turrets. Uh, that's all right. Walls, flamethrowers, pipes, repair packs, laser turrets. Now, if I wanted to use this same train to bring supplies when I was building the wall, um, I would probably want to put more laser turrets. Well, let's just keep it like that for now. I may want to change that in the future. Uh, so I think that's all. So laser turrets. Now I need to put these around the wall. I put uh, over here uh, the last episode. I put laser turrets down through there. And so now those will be able to be replaced uh, if they are destroyed. I want to do the same thing around these other walls. Let's see. If I, put, if I make a blueprint of that... And put that around that wall with those in the train now it should be able to build those so if I did if I made a blueprint of this let's see if I did this much here I want to get the wall in the blueprint as well I don't know if this is gonna line up or not but let's find out if I did that and got those two flamethrower turrets in the print and then went over oops and then went over to this wall does that come close to lining up to anything it it kind of does it lines up there doesn't it so i can do a shift click and put that down there now this one probably doesn't line up yeah there's a cliff in the way there uh that lines up though let's do a shift click there so i think the bots will be able to build most of this. It doesn't line up exactly, but it's close enough, I think. Uh, are you going to cut the oil supply? you got to be careful when you're pasting blueprints with piping. Uh, you can uh, blueprint in a pipe that might cut off your oil supply. I don't think I did there. I'm just doing a shift click. They don't line up exactly, but it's close enough. I've got a lot of laser turrets. It's not like I need every one of them to be placed. And then here, like that. We don't need that pipe on the end. And they're going to get rid of that cliff. That's fine. Oh, I don't. they don't have cliff explosives in the train. So you're not going to be able to remove that cliff. Well, I can take care of that the next time I'm up there. So I'll let the bots... Uh, you are complaining about something. You don't have a storage chest. Oh, okay. So I was pasting the blueprint down. And either I did it without even thinking about it, told it to delete something, or it had to be that. I don't think I don't think holding shift and pasting a blueprint will tell it to remove anything that's existing. It'll tell it to remove cliffs. Anyway, there's a bot here carrying a pipe, and there's no storage chest. So I'll need to put a storage chest up there. It's probably a good idea to have a storage chest on each of these networks, just in case something like that happens. If a bot picks something up, there's no place for it to put the chest or put the uh, the thing that it's carrying. Did the train go back? How oh, comes the train right now? I'm gonna ride the supply train up there. Do I have a storage chest that I can put up there? Yes. 
Okay, let's just ride the supply train up there. I just did a control click. Did you, you got some lasers in you now. Good, that was quick. Now you're gonna wait here, like that. Uh, you were, why are you empty? You have a request? Huh, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why that's empty. Oh, they're getting used. That's why that's empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I built that up there with those laser turrets, which is a bunch of electric poles. And there's only a few being delivered by the train, so I'll throw some in there. And then the bots can use those. There they come to grab those. Okay, let's see. Do I have cliff explosives? I have some cliff explosives here. We'll get rid of that. Okay, that looks... Wait, uh, what happened here? Why do you have no power? Now it has power, and there's a wall down through there. I did not break the oil supply line, did I? No, I don't think so. And it's complaining because there's no laser turrets. That's fine. They will get here. And that, oops, what are you saying? You're still saying there's no storage chest. Okay, storage chest. Let's put that, uh, let's put that here next to the, next to the train. There we go. Now what are you complaining about? Anything? Just missing laser turrets? And that is fine. Okay, train, you can go you can go back to wall supply and bring back laser turrets. Like that. The other thing I want to do is now that I have Ooh, uh, artillery. I was talking about this the last episode. Do I want an artillery train or do I want individual artillery guns? But then I would need to bring artillery shells. Um, there's probably room in this train to bring a steady supply of artillery shells. That might be interesting to do that. If I did that, did I pick up an artillery gun? I don't remember. Yes, I do. I have some artillery guns. Let me show you that, and then I'll show you the artillery train. Because this is a tutorial, after all. So here's the individual gun. If I go to... I think probably two down through here. I need... Well, I'll just put the gun down here and show you. So there's the artillery gun. Let's turn on uh, turret coverage. See that big circle? That's how far the artillery can fire. So, you know, I might be able to cover this entire wall with one. I don't, probably two, but let's see what happens if I put it down here. Uh, yeah, not quite, not quite the entire wall, but almost. But I, I'm also interested in how far out this way it can fire. So even though even if one gun could fire or could technically cover the entire wall, it won't keep everything away from the wall over here. So I think two of these will probably work nicely. So kind of like uh, maybe right there at the end of the train line, perhaps. Right in here, maybe. Like that. What does that look like? That covers. Yeah, that's nice. And then... Uh, and then over here, we'll do the same thing down here. Maybe, 
I'm looking at the mini map. I'm kind of guessing here. Maybe there. Okay, yeah. So you can see the firing uh, radius of that artillery. So that's going to keep everything well away from the wall. That's what I want. And then I can use a requester chest. Oh, do I have any requester chests? Yes, I do. I can use a requester chest and I can request. Uh, I'm going to need power over here. I can request artillery shells, which I'm not bringing out here yet, but I can. So, but our, now the artillery shells are big. They don't stack. It's one artillery shell per slot in the train and one per the storage spot in the chest. So you don't get a bunch of them, but you don't need a bunch. You just need enough to keep keep the bases, the uh, bug bases from being built next to the wall. So let's request, oh, let's request five, five artillery shell. And then they just, you just insert them into the gun like that. And it says it doesn't have any shells. You, this is going to need, hmm, should I build? Well, let's just put a RoboPort up here. It needs to be in the logistic part of the RoboPort. So now it is, now that request, the bots will bring artillery shells over there. Give me a copy of this. You're requesting five. Give me a copy of this. Let's go over here to this artillery. So this, as I said, this would be an effective way to keep the bugs away from your wall. You have power? No. You need a rubble port over here. Like that. This would be an effective way to keep the bugs away from your wall. Doesn't need a lot of artillery shells. Put them on the train. They're they're brought out here. They're unloaded. The bots will bring them over, and one or two at a time is all it takes because the the bug bases are slowly uh, expand slowly. That will be more than sufficient to keep them well away from the wall. And you can see how far away from the wall they would be. They would be kept out there. The other option would be to do the artillery train with the artillery wagons on the train and just have the train periodically uh, stop next to a wall or, or two stops maybe next to a wall because the firing distance I think is the same on the artillery uh, wagon on the train and the individual artillery guns. You just have the train come out and, and have a train stop here and it would you could wait for inactivity for example if there was anything to fire at the guns would fire you could have it go to the next one and then you could have it go around the base and just keep doing that. That's another option, either way. So that's going to work there. I need to put artillery shells on the train. And then we can see if this is going to work. Let's see, give me my personal train. I'm so fast now with these exoskeletons. Uh, hmm, that would be an interesting race. If I were to start running in a straight line and go back to the base, as opposed to calling the train and having it come out here and then riding the train back. Uh, because I've got so many exoskeletons when you're you know running obviously in a straight line uh, you can get back fairly quickly I don't know this might be quicker where am I going anyway it's only quicker if you're going in the right direction <laughs> I don't know. This might have been quicker. So I want artillery shells in the wall supply train. That is loaded up here. Uh, up here. Right too far. Up there. Okay, it has laser turrets. So I'm, I've got space here, so I don't want this train to get filled up with stuff. Let's go manual. I need to change the settings on the on the wagon here. So you are going to be. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. 
And I want you to be artillery shell. Oops. I'm, I did shift right click and shift left click. So it's very quick to put those filters in there. Let's do that. 50 of those. That's quite a... Let's do... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want 50 here. Okay, come on. I want 50 of those. I want a full stack. And let's... I'm thinking about building walls with lasers. Well, that... Let's see. That's going to be... Let's do a couple more. Let's do... Uh, I did it again. Let's do... Okay, I'm clicking the wrong button. Oh, it is different. Wait. Yeah, I thought it was shift right click to copy that. Does it, does it make a difference which view I'm in? Oh, I'm, there, oh there's actually... No. It was actually... Okay. It actually had a medium electric pulse in there. It wasn't a filter. It was actually... They were actually in there, and I'm removing them when I'm clicking on them. But now what I wanted to know is... I want to copy the filter. Ah, so I had a filter there. I, I had a like this. Um, I had a filter with medium electric poles, and I wanted to copy that filter and put it down here. But because there were medium electric poles in there, when I was <laughs> when I was doing shift right click, it was taking half the stack out and putting them in my inventory. Okay. So the the copy of the filter doesn't work if there's if there's something in there. Well, that makes sense. So now there's nothing in there. I can do a shift right click and a shift left click. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's working. Now what else do I know? I wanted, so um, I've got walls. I've got medium electric poles. I've got laser turrets, um, artillery shells. Yeah, let's put a few more wall. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Put a few more walls like that. And now give me some walls. I'll put some walls in there. There you can have some walls. And you can have some laser turrets. And you've got electric poles. And you can pick up artillery shells. Okay, so now let's back or let's oh, you can go forward, you can go to wall supply. Like that. Now we need artillery shells. Uh, it doesn't matter on artillery shells. Using a stack inserter doesn't make any difference because it's one shell per stack. Oh, what did I have in here? And it, again, it's just one shell per slot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's ten across there, so this can this can request. This can request 10, not 103, no, 10. 10 artillery shells, and they will get loaded into the train, then the train will have artillery shells. Oh, come back, a train. Now are you bringing artillery shells? It says they're on the way. Says 48 are on the way because I goofed up and put the wrong number in there. So it says 48 are on the way. Okay. Whatever. Now 
Now it's loading artillery shells. Okay, so now take me back to wall repair. Oh, well, it's not enabled. Take me to wall repair. I want to see if the artillery shells get transferred correctly. Research is blinking. Okay, now you want to, I want you to go to, stop. If you go to here, I need to unload, I need to unload artillery shells. So this can be, artillery shells can go here. Uh, let's go let's go there with artillery shells give me this you can filter out artillery shells like that and this I want uh, let's let's try to keep See, I forget how many shells go into the... I forget how many shells the uh, artillery gun itself will hold. Well, let's try 40. So, let's do... I don't know that I can... We'll find out. Let's request 40 artillery shells. It's enabled. They're going to get unloaded here. And they're going to go in there. Alright, so then you can go, now it's enabled, you can go to wall repair, and it's unloading artillery shells, and they're going in there. Okay, and it's still waiting for more, that's correct. Okay, now, do we have logistic bots out here? Are there logistic bots in this network? Um, maybe not. Do I have any? Probably not. I need some logistic bots out here now to transfer the artillery shells. Can I make a couple? No, I can't make any either. Okay, so I need to bring some logistic bots out uh, because they will do the transfer of the artillery shells out here into these uh, requester chests. Uh, what about the laser turrets? Did those get... Oh, I, so I need laser turrets out here too. So laser turrets... You need to go into a chest like this. You're going to pick up laser turrets, laser turrets like that. And we can limit that. We'll do two stacks. Yeah, we could do one stack like that. That'll be laser turrets and artillery shells. Okay. Give me these artillery shells. Oh, I should probably wait. I should wait to make sure that they get transferred correctly. Laser turrets. They are being delivered. Okay, that looks correct. Take me back to the base. And I will get some logistic bots. Here. Logistic bots, those are over here somewhere, I think. Right here. Do we have any? We have three, that's not enough. Do we have any in there? No. Do we have any in there? Two. 
Ah, uh, well, that's probably enough. I can see if, if I can find a couple more very quickly, I'll grab a couple more, but that's probably enough. It doesn't take very many. Just as a transfer a few artillery shells. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Might be some out here. Uh, construction bots. More construction bots. That's, that's enough. That is enough. Uh, let's see, I want to go here. There we go. There's some more. So take me back to this wall station. The station is green, so can you go there? Yes. You can go there. And then we can give you some... Some, some, some bots. And now the bots are transferring artillery shells. There it goes, right there. Multiple bots. I think each one carries one artillery shell. And now the artillery is loading. And there's the firing distance. It only fires at um, the spawners, the base, or worms. Those are probably those are probably worms. No, nope, maybe not. Maybe those are individual bugs. So that's the automatic fire distance. Oh, I need to make, uh, I don't think it's going to fire. No. I need to build, I probably can't build it now, because I probably don't have the stuff I need to build it. I need to build, oh, I can build, this thing. Artillery targeting remote requires one processing unit and one radar. So you build that, just need one. There it is in your inventory. You can put it on your quick bar. So like, I can put it down here. Okay. So now you can take, once there's an artillery, with um, ammo in it. Watch this. So here's the firing distance of that artil or artillery. Right? Watch what happens to that distance when I pick up this targeting remote. Look how much this is going to expand. <laughs> Off the screen. So I can actually fire out here now with that artillery and, and up here. And, and I'll show you. The artillery shells, one of the ingredients is a radar. So as the artillery shells flying through the air, you can actually explore with the artillery shell. So let's shoot it up here. And we'll see it. There it is. And it will reveal the territory as it flies. You can, in fact, you can see the square there. It's being revealed. So you can actually explore <laughs> with artillery shells. And now that's just like any radar scan. It's live. And then it will fade away. But then the map outline will still be remain revealed. Uh, you know, after that fades away. So you can put uh, artillery shells in there and keep exploring. Artillery uh, distance, range, is one of the research items that you can do. Uh, it's one of these, artillery shell range. And it's, it's one of the uh, uh, infinite researches. So you can keep researching that. Now it gets very expensive, right? Uh, so the first one's 2,000, then it, I don't know if they double each time, but it's very, very expensive. To keep doing it but but you get uh, a range increase uh, with each one of those it's a 30 percent range increase so you can make those artillery guns shoot very far and then use that to explore the map uh, with with the artillery because of the radar that's in the artillery shell so that's kind of fun so now we keep the bugs at oh there's a there's a bug attack now we keep the bugs at bay uh, let's see here can I, oh yeah, so I can shoot these bases now with the artillery. Uh, so so you, can, you can't see anything, right? It's just a big red blob. But the you kind of see that, that circle around the, the shell that I'm holding there? That's kind of like the damage uh, radius or area. 
So if I, you can, and these big squares, these are, these are the spawners, the bases. So if you kind of shoot between them, you can take out more than one. So we'll just kind of guess here. Let's put, let's put an artillery shell right there and we'll watch it fire. There it is. And we'll kind of zoom in here. There. So I took out all three of those with one artillery shell and you can see it's live. It's a live view right now. So that now with artillery and that targeting remote, um, you can really expand your territory safely, build a nice well-defended wall, use your artillery, take out the spawners. They'll, they'll counterattack. Now those bugs will counterattack. They'll, you know, they have to walk from there all the way down to here. And so they will come down and, and attack. In fact, we'll, we'll hang around here for a few minutes until they do. Uh, but if you, with a well-defended wall, which this is, you know, it's getting there. When all these lasers are in place, yeah, it's and and robots and bots to repair it, it's yeah, it's it's impenetrable. Uh, a huge late game bug attack with um, behemoth uh, biters and spitters. Yeah, they could maybe break through if it's a really big attack. Uh, if that happens, I just put another layer, of, or another row of lasers. And another layer of wall but let's watch this one see that little attack there that they didn't have a chance you can see what the lasers did and they're you know it the lasers they don't even touch the wall and then once the flame is on the ground the remaining bugs that are walking through there they get destroyed by the flame so very very secure so my most secure wall is another layer of of lasers I'll show you it's in my blueprints if you get my blueprints it's under rail and wall it's called wall with lasers, I think. Wall with yeah, wall with lasers and flamethrowers. So it's the same same thing that I did here, but there's two rows of lasers with flamethrowers behind them. I don't know if the spacing is the same or not. Oh, that's pretty close, pretty close spacing. So that's that wall blueprint there. That's impenetrable. With with bots to repair it, yeah, occasionally it gets damaged, you know. But yeah, they don't get through that. If they if if it if you think they are massive attacks, but just put another another layer of wall on there. So that's good there. And this artillery down here, are you getting loaded? Should be. You have artillery? No, you don't have artillery shells. Oh, you do have artillery. What's going on here? Oh, there's no inserter. There we go. The inserter is not in the train. I had to build that manually and I didn't put the inserter in there. So now it's loaded. And, oh, the number on the uh, remote, that's the number of artillery guns that are um, loaded, that have ammo in them. So now I have two guns that I can fire with. And you can see the firing art for both of those. So let's go up here. Let's take this. I don't like the look of you. Let's, let's take you out. Let's take you out. Oh, uh, yeah. The, okay, yeah. So the, the <laughs> two guns now are firing. Oh, I didn't take out both of them. Darn, I can't reach them both. Okay. The, um, you see the little yellow square there? That's where I clicked to fire. And that will remain in effect for a while. I don't think it stays forever. Yeah, for example, if you did not get ammo in that uh, a turret, uh, eventually, I think, I'm not certain, but I think that targeting will, uh, will not be effective. It will basically go away after a while. It's been a while since I played with that. I don't remember, but I, it seems, I seem to recall that that's what it does. The, the targeting just does not remain in, in effect forever. Oh, and then um, you do have to have ammo. There has to be an artillery that's loaded with ammo in order to use this targeter, I think. Again, is the way it works. So that's the artillery there. Let's do the same thing on this wall down here and this wall here. And um, I don't want to leave this as an, as an island all the time. I think I'm going to have to do something to to change the where the wall is placed. But let's do the others first. Let's put artillery on this wall to cover this and artillery on this wall to cover this. So give me... Oh, in fact, I have, I think... Again, if you're using my blueprints, I'm pretty sure I have uh, a blueprint 
Let's see, where is it? Do I have an artillery? Do I have an artillery? Yes, very simple. So that's all I did. I just built it manually. You just put an artillery gun, a requester chest, an inserter, and some power. So that's in my blueprints, but you can see what I did there. But um, And it's got the request in there already for the artillery, artillery shells. So let's go... Let's go... To these other walls i'll need to i'll need to get in fact i want to put lasers there too uh, i want this i want these two chests on the other walls i'm so fast i love it Where am I going? Where am I going with my speed? I'm going... I'm going down here. <laughs> you can also pave the terrain. Uh, and if you pave it with stone, you can run faster. If you pave it with concrete, you can even run even faster. If you pave it with refined concrete, you can run even faster. So you can have all kinds of fun here. So I'm going... Where am I going? I'm going... I'm going to the supply station. Oh, I want... Okay, well, first I want to figure out where I want to put the artillery guns. Where did I... Where did I put that... I want artillery guns down here along this wall, so probably one. And the artillery, the requester chest needs to be in the orange part of the network. So if I put one there, let's try that. I don't have any bots. I have bots. I don't have my RoboPort. Where's my RoboPort? There it is. RoboPort. Beep, beep. Okay, you need some power. You are requesting. Yes. And let's change that. Let's make you request uh, five. Okay. And then the train. Okay. The train needs to bring... Train needs to bring artillery shells. Where did I un where did I unload those relative to the others? I put them on the end next to where repair packs are. Give me a copy of this. There we go. Uh, I don't have any of those. I don't have any filter inserters. There we go. Are you actually there? Yes. So you are requesting now, and then in the... in the constant combinator... did I add the request 
I requested uh, 40. That seems like a, a big number. But I did add it to the request. Okay, constant combinator. Let's, I'm not sure 40. I'm not sure I should do 40. Let's do uh, 10. Did I have that as a negative number up there, or did I not do it right? Did I do that correctly? I did it correctly. Just put a big number. Okay. Oh, did I add laser turrets to that one as well? Up here, are you requesting laser turrets? Are you requesting laser turrets? Uh, this one. No, I forgot to put those in there. Okay. I've got to add a request for laser turrets to that. So you need to request... Laser turrets, let's do, let's do 10. Like that. You are unloading laser turrets, you are unloading artillery shells. Okay, that is in the network. Okay, I can put artillery down through here. And the chest needs to be in the orange part of the network and it is so let's put that's one there you can see how the firing arc yeah so one more down here we'll do it so let's go down here how about there does that work oh yeah so there that's nice see that firing arc there and a firing arc there oh yeah this is going to fire automatically down here. Uh, we're going to need some laser turrets down here, guys. We are going to need some laser turrets because we're going to get visitors. Give me this distance again. I'm going to get a copy of... Where's a good section to copy? I don't see a good section to copy. Those lasers did not get placed in a way that suits me. Their gaps are different. Well, let's just get the distance. Let's get the distance and then I'll fix it on this wall. Are you the same? Yes, so that goes there. So come with, uh, I don't have any cliff explosives either, do I? Uh, okay, so come with me. I don't have any, okay, I don't have stuff. <laughs> I gotta get stuff. I need medium electric poles. You're going to put laser turrets in there? Okay, good. Oh, are, are there enough medium electric poles over here that I can use them without getting run over? Medium electric poles. Uh, there's 10. That's not enough. And that's all there is, right? Yeah. I can use I can Okay, I'll go back to the base. I'll go back to the base and grab some stuff. And uh let's see you're you're not going to come out here, are you? You're going to wait 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, it's almost over. There's a 30-second delay. I mentioned it in one of the episodes. It can't leave the supply station right away. I put that in there just to make sure it had time to load stuff. I don't want it constantly running around in a circle. Hello. There it is. I see it on the mini-map. Take me back to wall supply, please.
Okay, bring me some stuff. Pots or I can grab stuff. Bring me medium electric poles. Um, big electric poles. I want to always have wall segments. I want to always have repair packs. I want to always have, what do I want to always have? Anything else here that I want to always have on me? Oh, I should always have an assembly machine. Uh, oh, did I? I don't remember if I put up, if I set up the manufacturing of assembly machine threes. I need to check to see if I did that. I would like to always have some belt. I would like to always have some inserters. Uh, underground splitters. Electric poles. Uh, pipe. I want to always have pipe. What else? What else do I... Oh, I want to always have cliff explosives. That's nice to always have that. Uh, anything else that I want to always have? I did repair packs. Yeah, I got repair packs. Oh, um... No, that's fine. Oh, I can, I can, if I think of something, I'll add it later. Um, yeah, I can add it later. That is sufficient. Do I, did I get the stuff I wanted? And I don't need, I don't need... Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. So now... You have... You have artillery... Okay, I need medium electric poles and laser turrets. That's what I was working on. I was trying to remember what I was working on. There's so many things going on there. I forgot what I was working on. Medium electric poles... And... Laser turrets, medium electric poles. I want more than what I've got. I just got the minimum. I want I, I want enough to build some stuff with. Uh, those are here. Do you have any? You do have some. I'll take those. Laser turrets. You are uh, up here. Yes. You are up here. And do you have any? Yes. Okay. So now I can go over there and I can make some. Some ooh plastic. What's going on with plastic? Petroleum gas. That's not good. Uh, why is petroleum gas so weak? Petroleum gas. Why are you weak? You are not in there. Ah, crude oil. Okay. I have to have crude oil. Add tag. Need crude oil. Confirm. Okay, I put that on the map so I'll remember. You just go to add tag. You go to add tag and you put that on the map. Then on the, when you go to the map view... It shows up on the map view, whatever message you typed in, wherever you put it. It's a good way to do so you remember something. Okay, I need to go to... I need to put the laser turrets down here on this wall. Take me down here, please.
let you go back to the base. Okay, uh, let's see. What spacing did I use on that? I was putting those over here. Oh, you could turn off bots because you're going to just cause all kinds of grief. Like this. Oh, I didn't. I did. I do have cliff explosives. Excellent. Cliffs everywhere. Oops. Okay, and then laser turrets. Did I get any laser turrets? I got a few. You don't have power. I need more. <laughs> and you are not getting artillery shells. Did I not put the artillery shell unload over here yet? I did put the artillery. Did I not give you any logistic bots? Aha. Okay, four is all I had. It's four more than you had, though. Okay, I need more laser turrets. I will uh, blueprint them in. Laser turrets are in the supply train now. Oops, I need electricity down here. And the bots will bring them out here. And they will get placed. Oh, the trees are in the way. Tree deleter. Where's my tree deleter? Go away. Tree deleter. Cliff deleter. Tree deleter. Okay. Oops. Blueprint in the laser turrets. There we go. That looks sufficient. You know, there's no flamethrower down there, is there? In the very corner. Let's put one here. That looks better. There we go. So the bots can build those. In fact, they're already building them. There you go. Thank you, bots. So that's how I expand my wall and my. Oh, and you got. We have artillery shells now. Ooh, let's play with the uh, targeting remote. Let's antagonize more bugs. That's how I expand my walls. Put security on my walls. Which gun has the artillery shells? This one does. Did I put a gun down here? This one does not yet. You don't have power. Oh, that's going to be a problem. You need... Electricicals. Oh, let's see. Let's do this. Now you have shells. So now I can play with two artillery guns down here. So let's antagonize. Oh, we're already automatically antagonizing. Uh, now, to so the automatic fire, it will target worms. Oh, those, you know, okay, who cares, right? They don't move. If I were doing it, I would be targeting just the spawners. But the automatic fire does automatically target worms or spawners, just so you know. So we'll let that one automatically fire and have fun. 
and we can target these guys. So we'll give you can have some, you can have some stuff like that. So that's my episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it very much. You know, those are getting placed very quickly, aren't they? That's nice. Take care. Have fun playing like I am. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.